If you completed every step within the book, which has more details than the videos, you would have imported another MIDI file of the rock song Purple, this time created in another music program. The resulting import is shown here. It's much cleaner than the imports from sequences that you made in the last part of this lesson, because when notes are input with methods like alphabetic or step time entry, rhythmic durations are mathematically exact. However, this also serves to starkly show the limitations of MIDI files as a way of transferring from one notation program to another. The score that is being transferred is shown in Appendix B in your book, and if you compare that to the imported MIDI file, you will notice that there are no dynamics, articulation marks, phrasing, tempo markings, performance instructions, grace notes, lyrics, and much more. This is where Music XML comes in. It is a file format that allows you to transfer a score from one notation program to another and keep the kind of details that MIDI can't include intact. You can open a Music XML file from under the Import tab of the Quick Start or from File Open if you already have a score open in Sibelius. From the Lesson 3 folder in your Core Resources folder, choose the file purple1.mxl. In the Open Music XML File dialog box, the default options will do a good job of importing the file, but it can also be a good idea to allow Sibelius to take control of the spacing and to ensure that the instruments are correctly ascribed. To do this, uncheck the Use Page and Staff Size from Music XML File checkbox, set the paper size to your country's default, and the orientation to Portrait. Next, uncheck Use Layout and Formatting from Music XML File and uncheck Let Sibelius Choose Instruments so that you can do this manually. Finally, uncheck the Use Instrument Names from Music XML File and click OK. In the Instruments dialog box, a list of the identified instruments from the Music XML File is shown on the left and you should match it with your own list on the right. The quickest way to do this is to use the search function as shown. When it comes to the electric piano, instead choose Rock Organ, which will sound better. When you're done, click OK to open the imported score in Sibelius. Immediately you will discover a much more detailed score than you could ever have got from the import of a MIDI file. Have a listen to your score and look out for the odd thing that needs to be fixed, such as the odd collision as it plays. All of the collisions can be fixed by optimising the staff spacing, as you've done many times before, and also with a function that is new to you. Select your whole score with Ctrl and A, or Command and A, and then click on the Appearance tab and find the Position button in the Design and Position group. Clicking this button moves every object to Sibelius's default position. There's also a very long melisma line in bar 16, which you can fix by double-clicking on that syllable and typing the space bar twice and then pressing Escape. You'll learn much more about lyrics later in this lesson. There really isn't that much more to fix in this score. You can again compare the score to the original in Appendix B and confirm how well Sibelius's import worked.